Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing this lovely little light bulb picture. This is from the um, selection of TEDx Aberdeen pictures that Johanna Basford did. Now I'm going to be doing this with um, Castle Arts pencils just because I was um, gifted some which was absolutely lovely um, from my um, Amazon wish list from a very lovely lady. Um, you may have seen my review actually that I've put up of them and they're on my desk because I'm playing with them because they're my new toys and so I'm just going to have a go at colouring this with them. Um, I'm going to start with the cadmium yellow and I'm going to do all these little bits that are coming out of the light bulb. Now I'm going to do them all in a um, sort of even colour I suppose. So I want them to stand out a little bit. And you could sort of shade them a bit and make them darker top or bottom or something. But as this sort of light rays, I think just an even colour works. It keeps it nice and simple as well. I also need to be quite quick because uh, I've just managed to find a quick opportunity to do a video while my children and husband are outside helping a neighbour with a little job. Um, I can't help fortunately, it's they need to lift something. And there will be um, five of them I think so I don't really need anyone else and uh, also I have to, I've got a frozen shoulder at the moment. Um, it's fortunately getting loads better and uh, much less painful but um, I don't want to aggravate it and uh, let the men do that hard work I say. So I've done all of those in this colour and what my idea is is to also do the inside of the light bulb this colour too. Now there's quite a lot of colouring in all the same colour but uh, I think it'll work with my idea. So I should just colour this and it's not very exciting for you to watch. I could have done it off camera but uh, anyway. Now I find that this picture is quite pixelated the uh, actual printing. I don't know if that is perhaps the quality of the download. I mean Johanna's books are usually good although some of her earlier ones were a little bit pixelated I noticed or whether it's my printer I'm not sure but uh, I'm, I only noticed this when I watched back my videos which is so zoomed in you can see all those little details. I know some people, I have had a few people say they're too zoomed in, but most people seem to like to be able to see all the little details. And because these are little pictures, it makes sense to zoom in. As long as you don't get to see too much of my hand and knuckle and fingers, I think it works for you. So, uh, just merrily colouring this. It's been a very relaxing Sunday so far for me. I have... Um, I got up early, I woke up early, I don't lie in, it's not. It's just not what I do. Because um, I go to bed early, I don't usually need to lie in anyway. And uh, got my ironing done, children got up and helped me clean the house, her husband did a little bit. Now these loopy bits, I'm not too sure, I'm going to go in the middle I think, with the yellow, like that. Yes, yeah, so everyone helped, which was really great and it meant that I could uh, get to colouring quickly. I'm going to use the lemon yellow to do a bit of yellow around the edge. Well, this is, I haven't sharpened this one yet. I'm just going to do it a little bit. My idea is just to put a little bit on the edge and then try and fade it out. Now fading out colour, I know it's not easy. I just gently reduce my pressure on the pencil as I go out. And it's easier with a yellow because the uh, it's quite near to white. I find fading out a dark colour really quite hard. But uh, it's just about gentle pressure. And I know people find it tricky to be gentle. It can be easy to hold the pencil nearer to the end, put it on its side. And that helps you get a more gentle pressure on it. But there we go. I think I'm going to leave that like that for the minute. Just leave the pencils aside in case I change my mind. And I'm going to go in with some grey to do some of the bulb bits. I'm going to use the 
cool grey because it's a sort of metallic-ish grey which is what I'm looking for with a cool grey deep I've been using in my other picture and uh, I don't want to move it so, I, so I'm going to forget which colour I was using oh it's a little bit these are a little bit crumbly when you first sharpen them but for me I don't mind they still come to quite a point they don't snap too much it's just because I'm being a bit heavy handed I think and what I'm doing is I'm doing a little bit dark on the edges of everything and leaving a little gap and I find that just gives the impression that the light is catching it I've done this so many times you've seen me do it and it makes a sort of shine in the middle and just makes it look a little bit more like it's metallic and what, as you can see towards the middle I'll show you with this one so I, I do the edges first and then I just layer it up gently towards the middle now the reason for that is two reasons partly to try and keep it as central as I can and partly to make sure I don't put down too much colour in the middle right now we've got all the lovely little flowers and leaves to do they're really eeny teeny so I'm going to um, do all the leaves the same colour and I'm only going to do them one colour because they're so small I'm just going to do those first and I'm going to use this castle green colour, it's rather pretty and bright and I'm just going to do them all, as you could see I sharpen this first or here, I don't know if you could see um, just to make sure I can get into all those little details I'm having to put my head really close probably, no you can't, I was thinking you'd probably see it in the camera but luckily not quite that close but I'm having to look underneath my specs. I do have bifocals, well very focals, but they're not strong enough to uh, see little details. Now we've got our flowers and I thought I'd do a mix of pinks and purples um, just for a bit of fun. So I'm going to go through my sort of um, pack. So I'm going to start with the purple light. Sorry, it's focused on the paper, isn't it? And do this big one. And I'm just going to try and do a little bit of harder pressure near the near the centre part but I don't know how much it will show up because this is such a little item now I'm looking at the flowers and thinking we've got a few groups I think so I'm going to grab this purple which I think yeah it's the lavender and I'm going to do these two both the same colour because they look, um, they're next to each other I'm not going to shade these I'm just going to do them all the same colour no, I haven't done the middles but uh, I don't want yellow middles, so I'll have a think about that anyway right, and next I'm going to go for a darker purple this one I really like um, purple lake deep I'm again purposely choosing colours that I haven't been using for my other picture that I'm in the middle of because uh, I get confused that's a gorgeous colour I notice I've left a little bit here which should be yellow in there right and we've got our last three which I'm going to do all the same colour I think I might do them blue actually or maybe the ultramarine Let's go for ultramarine violet, just it's somewhere in between um, blue and pink. Oh, blue and purple even. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm more awake today. I should be um, thinking about what I'm saying. Now, if you're watching this when it's just been released, you may have got my newsletter. Unfortunately, yet again, I managed to send it out a day early. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me, why I can't use the calendar properly. But um, anyway, um, hopefully you got it. Now the centres of the flowers, we've only got those three. Could leave them white, I don't think that will work. I'm going to use some of the colours we've used for other flowers, that's what I'm going to do. Keep the palette the same. So I'm going to use the purple lake deep for the big one. So I'm going to try and do it a bit darker at the bottom nearer the petals and fade it up to the top wow that is quite pretty and then I'm going to use the hmm, the bluey one I think the um, 
ultramarine violet for these and I'm just I'm just gonna do those quite hard and dark and they look a little bit different then to the others so there we are just checking out the yellow I think I'm finished with that one I quite like that as it is I'm not gonna make it any more complicated so uh, <sighs> a little bit there there we go so there I am finished with that one so I thought that was okay it was quite simple but it's quite a simple fun illustration and uh, hopefully it's given you a little bit of an idea and some inspiration to have a go yourself so thank you very much for watching and happy coloring